Welcome to Voya Global Perspectives. February may have ushered in the Lunar New Year of the sheep, but it was the bears that were shown during the month. Domestic equity markets staged an astounding reversal, bringing major indices comfortably into positive territory for the year to date and whipsawing those bears who had been calling for the end of the bull market based on recent weakness. Meanwhile, international markets have continued strong, suggesting to us that 2015 might be particularly painful for those blind to the folly of gaming diversification. With its track record coming out of the depths of the financial crisis, it's hard to ar argue against the S&P 500. However, the U.S. large cap index is decidedly in the lower end of the equity pack year to date, while the EFA index leads. Diminished earnings, a stronger dollar, a lukewarm housing market, and a Fed chair that may just be a hawk in Dove's clothing could conspire to derail the S&P 500's recent string of success. There's no cause for alarm just yet. However, the domestic economy is improving and the international backdrop is beginning to look more supportive of U.S. companies. Europe notably appears to have turned a corner thanks to a cheaper currency and highly accommodative central bank. As always, global diversification is key in both stocks and bonds. One of these years, S&P 500 companies will falter and broad diversification will help mitigate the associated losses. Also key, remaining fully invested in the market in all but the most dire of circumstances, not hiding out in cash or betting against risk assets like so many bears who have but temporary victories. It is discipline that will benefit investors by preventing the impact of being whipsawed by the markets. I'm Doug Cote, and that was this month's Global Perspectives.